Amir used the tube to work every day, but one day he observed something unusual among the other riders. A dog. He initially believed the dog to be with someone, but it was by itself. Amir's interest was aroused. This dog was heading where? What was its desire? Amir generally takes his car to work, but on that particular day it was at the workshop, so he took public transport instead. Although he didn't know much about the tube, he didn't anticipate what would happen that day. When the tube came to a stop, the dog, who had been calmly waiting with the people inside, leaped inside. Everyone missed it but Amir. What was the story behind this dog? That day, Amir attempted to locate the dog in the tube, but they reached his station before he could, forcing him to exit. He attempted to ignore the dog at first, believing it to be merely a lost wanderer in search of food. However, the narrative would not finish there. When he had to ride the tube again the next day, he was startled to see that the dog was also there, standing in line for the train among everyone else. Amir's car was already out of the shop, but he would still ride the tube to monitor the dog over the next few days. All he needed to do was unravel it. Was the dog lost? Had he been fed on the train and taught how to enter in the hopes of obtaining food, or was there a far more important reason? But it wasn't the same every day. Amir once witnessed some individuals, clearly disgusted, pushing and yanking the dog out of the carriage. Despite his attempts to stop them, they were able to kick the dog out of the train and close the doors. The unfortunate dog continued to run in a circle behind him. The train was pulling away when Amir realized the dog was acting suspiciously. The dog appeared to be impatient for the next train to arrive and appeared to be confused. When Amir departed for work the following day, he carried some delectable dog chow with him. He waited at the same tube stop, and the dog showed up shortly after. His brown coat was clearly visible even though he was a little dirtier than normal. The dog wagged his tail and took the kibble. Amir was delighted to be of assistance to the small dog, and he had no intention of leaving it there. Amir realized that he had no idea what kind of treatment the dog received from outsiders until he saw how happy the dog was. That disturbed him, so he called the police, who told him to go to a nearby animal shelter. After being perplexed by Amir's story, the shelter officials determined that capturing the dog and attempting to locate him in an adopted home would be the best course of action. The daily mystery of the dog's whereabouts remained, nevertheless. Amir informed them that it was possible that he was keeping an eye on a puppy, or that someone was waiting for the dog at a different station. The thing is, they didn't know why the dog was so determined to bore the train every day. Hence, the workers at the shelter chose to adopt a different approach. The officials at the animal shelter debated for a while before deciding to equip the dog with a tracker so they could monitor his exact movements. Although winning the dog's trust wasn't simple, they were able to achieve it with Amir's assistance. All they could do now was wait and watch where the dog went. After a day, when the team checked the locator, they were in shock. Nobody knew why the dog had taken such a long trek through the city. The dog went about his daily routine in the days that followed. After a long day of travel, he arrived back at the station where Amir always found him in the evening. At that time, an employee of the animal shelter made the decision to walk after the dog to see where he went each day. The man found important information right away. The dog's name was Boy to start. People in the area seemed to know him well and snapped pictures of him riding the tube and the ferry. The dog was obviously quite intelligent and familiar with public travel. They learned via the tracker that Boy traveled between 27 and 30 kilometers, that's 16.7 and 18.6 miles every day, making 29 stops total. That is really amazing. Boy is a sheepdog and SAS Kangal mix, despite being a stray dog. After doing all the standard examinations at the shelter, they found that he had undergone neutering and was in excellent condition. In other words, the dog was not homeless, rather it belonged to a family. 
Boy made a lot of stops since he went to different places to seek food, as the man from the shelter staff noticed. It turned out that he had a large community of people who loved him and were always willing to help. Getty Images photographer Chris McGrath learned about Boy via Twitter. The dog, who now has thousands of followers on Instagram and Twitter, was first featured in selfies posted by neighbors. Chris made the decision to travel to Istanbul in order to meet the dog. He spent a day trailing Boy to see where he was going and taking pictures of his exploits. He had never seen anything like that before. Boy always seemed to have a purpose and know where to go. It was also evident that the dog was a well-liked local. Chris even took pictures of Boy during the weekend while he was traveling to Prince's Island. Boy took an hour-long ferry voyage there and back, and he seemed so at ease. He enjoyed relaxing in the sun and knew where to go when he boarded the ferry. He let out a bark at the sea as soon as the ferry moved. City workers who were familiar with the dog told Chris that Boy appeared to enjoy the various engines in the vehicles he travels in. For instance, Boy enjoyed the vibrations of being seated close to the engine when he rode the ferry. For the same reason, he always sits close to the wheels when he rides the tube. However, how can a wandering dog in Istanbul get enough food to survive? Any animal who wanders the streets is vulnerable, so what makes Boy unique? The difference, though, is that people are accustomed to seeing stray dogs and cats in the city because they are so prevalent. In addition, the city runs a program to shield and assist stray animals. For instance, they manage food distribution, sterilization programs, and emergency support services. Boy knows where to go, so he never has trouble locating food. Chris noticed that some people set up bowls of food and water in odd places in houses or businesses. Boy keeps himself well-fed since he knows where to find them. Additionally, the community members shield Boy particularly from ill-mannered individuals. Chris witnessed, for instance, that when Boy entered a restaurant, two men began yelling and shooing him out. Abruptly, the restaurant owner begins yelling at the man, saying, That's Boy! Keep from chasing him off! He's now well-known. Furthermore, Boy's admirers are not limited to the local population. The traveling dog is also well-known and loved by municipal workers. Boy gained so much notoriety that the city workers began bringing him to the veterinarian on a regular basis. It's a very lovely gesture from them and a method to support him in keeping well. In order to maintain Boy's behavior under control and allow him to be a valuable member of the community, they have also taken him to boot camps and the groomer. Boy's devotion to the community grew to the point where little kennels were built for him in the train station he frequents so he could have a place to sleep. Since people found out about Boy and his peculiar ways of traveling on trains and ferries, he also wore a collar. On the internet, the intriguing puppy has gained international attention. His Instagram and Twitter accounts have more than 79,000 followers, and he gets love from people all around the world. Istanbul commuters are aware that you should always smile and take the opportunity to greet Boy when you see him.